Zivirk 9. I'm almost here. I'm almost ready. Almost starting. I think I can let this run. Like this. Whew. Here, here we are. Test one, two. Sorry, sorry. Pop, 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 pop. Ping, pong. Should be good. Good. Okay, we're good. So, seven o'clock. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Welcome. So my name is Morsel. And I'm not alone here. And I'm joined by Sean. Sean is here. I'm Marcel. Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation. I'm here for yoga instructions. So if you'd like to join in and do some yoga with me today, you're very welcome to do so. And today's topic is going to be perfect. Perfect. What does perfect mean to you? Do we have maybe some knowledge inside of you that tells you, oh, perfect is bad, something like that. And we're just going to discuss that a little throughout the session. So sit down, if you like to join in, sit down either on some books or up on a sitting pillow and make your sit comfortable. Any time your sit would become uncomfortable, you're welcome to change it. From here, root your feet down. Get your feet down, get longer from the sitting bones to the top of the head. Get long, long, long. Breathe in deep, belly into the chest. <sighs> Breathing out. Breathing in again the belly first, then into the chest. And in again, the belly and into the chest. And from here, release your arms by your sides and bring your arms slowly up, breathing in deep. Get long from the sitting bones to the top of the fingers, top of the head. Hold your breath when you have your hands over the head and release your hands. Releasing them by your sides, release your breath. Have your hands by your sides, hold your breath, and go up again. And go in your own rhythm, breathing in as deep as you can in the belly into the chest, get longer up to the top of the fingers, and then breathing out, releasing the arms. Releasing the arms by your sides again. And go up again, breathe in. Take short breaks, they can be really, really short. Make sure it feels good to you. Now, this movement doesn't need to be perfect in a kind of physical way, but it shall feel good to you. And that's what it makes perfect. It's your look at the physical postures that says, wow, it's helping me, or this feels good. That makes the poses perfect. 
And of course also your growth towards a better alignment makes the pose perfect. It's not just a finished pose where we want to go to or we want, want to go towards. It's also the way there that makes poses perfect. And you decide what is perfect for you and what not. That's the important thing. Bring your arms, your hands to the thighs and move the hands, the palms slowly back and forward. So seeing that perfect, uh, perfect pose is not necessary to be perfect. <laughs> so you can have a perfect pose without having a perfect pose. That's what I want to say. Good, and moving your hands forward and backward, feeling the warmth on the thighs, feeling the warmth on the palms. Moving your shoulders forward, upward, backward and down. Again, forward, upward, backward and down. Forward, upward, down. down. Connecting this movement. Then bring your right hand to the right side, lean a little bit to the right, without rounding to the right. So keeping your left sitting bone rooted, getting long through both sides. And then going to the other side, just leaning a little bit there, keeping the length in both sides of your side body right now. Your head is an extension of the spine. You can bring your hand maybe up, check if you can get more length through the side bodies, bring your hand up or how that feels. Maybe come up on your fingers, switch around again, breathing in deep. As you're breathing out, change the side. And one more time, the other side. Good, get really, really long. Good, and now you're invited to round, rounding to the right, as much as you want, as much as it feel good to you, feels good to you, draw the belly in and up, so you're rounding through the side body, and change the side. And change the side. Mm. And from here, twisting your body, bring one hand to the back of your body, grab on a little bit to the opposite knee with the right hand, with the right hand to the left knee, breathe in and deep, deep. and just twist a little tiny bit, looking over your shoulders to the back. Don't push yourself too far, breathe in deep. So less is more here, changing the side, breathing in deep. Breathe in deep, sit up more straight. When you breathe in deep, 
sit up straighter, get longer, and then breathing out, twisting a little bit more. Looking over the shoulders, don't push yourself too far again. So not much of like pulling here with the hand, just lay your hand there. Breathe in as deep as you can. And breathe out, change the side. Let's go one more time each side. In whatever sit you are today, breathe in deep, get longer from the sitting bones to the top of the head. Breathing out, twisting a little bit more. Changing the side for time. Changing the side. Breathing deep. Get long. Ah, breathing out, twisting a little bit more. Looking over the shoulders back. And release, come back into the middle. Whew. Good, how did that feel? Round your spine from the top down. Just with complete awareness rounding down. How does that feel? Knowing that it's allowed to round your spine as long as you're doing it with awareness and with, with the best intention for yourself. Good. Let's come into all fours today. So mindfully transitioning into all fours, however it feels good to you today. And John, may I ask you to move a little bit out of the way? Thank you. Good, and from here, shift your shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Start arcing slowly up from the lower spine up, breathing in deep. And then rounding down vertebra by vertebra down from the top of the head down. And up again, arcing up, from the lower spine up. From the top of the head down. Arcing up from the lower spine up. Breathing in. Rounding down from the top of the head down. And then coming back into the middle. Coming back into the middle. Bring your elbow down here where the wrist was, grabbing on with the right hand on the left wrist. So right hand goes down. We have a long left hand here. We're going to take it a little bit further and we're going to arc up again forward, breathing in deep, then rounding down from the top of the head down. Good. And arcing up again from the lower spine up. And rounding up. Let's see where you can go breathing in deep. Having your hands, arms strong and straight. Straight and strong. All the time arcing up. See where you can go. See where are there some openings in the spine. And then round. Good. And then release this. Change the side. Change the side. Your arm is straight all the time. So arcing up, check with your arm, is your arm still straight? Breathing out, check with your arm, is your arm stay stra still straight? Rounding down, arcing up, arm straight. Rounding down from the top of the head down, vertebra by vertebra, as good as you can, and arcing up. And from here, come back into the middle and shift your hips a little bit left and right. How does that feel? If you need to do some special movements, you can do so. Listen to your body right now. So moving left and right, move your hips in an eight, maybe, or shift yourself completely back to a child's pose or completely forward. Upward facing dog, if you like, but connect your 
hands where they were, hands on the shoulder and hips over knees. And maybe if you don't know what to do, maybe do snake-like movements. Maybe even bend your elbows a little bit. Let's see how that feels. Good. Sit back on your heels. Ooh. Shake your arms a little, shake your wrists, fingers. Interlace the fingers and go a little bit left and right. Warming up your wrists a little bit more. And interlacing the fingers can is kind of really soft. So you just put the fingers together and release them. You don't need to activate any muscles here. And just go left and right. Shake them out a little. Shake your elbows, shake your shoulders as well. Good. And interlace the fingers again. Now fixing the right arm in place, grabbing on with the left arm, just moving your left arm right now. So just the left arm does the movement. We release the right arm completely, release the right wrist completely. Shake your wrist, change around, left hand fixed, left arm fixed, grab on with the right hand, interlace and just move with the right arm right now and see how that feels. And you can move your elbow, you can even move with the shoulder, the right arm, and just see where you can move the left wrist to today. Shake your wrists out again. And one more time, interlace the fingers, whoop. And what we're doing is just completely focused on having the same intensity in the left and the right arm, checking in with the left and the right arm, that they are moving in the same, with the same force, the same muscles. So not one arm is moving more than the other, but both arms are moving with the same same intensity connecting here good shake your wrists shake the fingers and come forward into all fours what do you want to do here so we lifting the left leg to the back left leg to the back check that it's somewhat going straight back check that your hips are straight and then bring your right arm forward breathing in deep Your shoulders are not hung through or not pushed out too much, but in the middle. Whoop. And then breathing out, trying to gather elbow and knee together, rounding, round your head as well as good as you can. Then extend again, breathing in. Get long from the back foot to the finger. Imagine a wall is behind you where you push your foot into. Breathe in deep. And then draw the elbow and the knee together. Breathing out, breathing in, extending. Breathing out, together, closing, and then breathing in, arcing up with the arm and the foot up as far as you can. Your head is relaxed. Then together, breathing out. And up again, arcing up, opening like a flower, and then closing in the night as the flower and sunshine again, opening. It's day again, and then it's night again, closing and opening, breathing in. Go three more times, closing down, together, opening up, closing, like the flower, and last time opening, head is relaxed, and together, 
closing and coming down to the floor. Check in with how the left and the right side feels of your body right now. Just be here for a moment. Breathe deep. And then check that your alignment is good again. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And bring your back leg, right leg to the back. Check a little bit. Check your few hips. Bring your hand forward and get along from the back foot to the top of the fingers. Breathe in and then breathing out, elbow knee together, rounding and extending. Get longer from the back foot to the top of the fingers, pushing your back foot into an imaginary wall. Elbow knee together, rounding. Extending and running and extending, rounding, extending, long, 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 breathe in and rounding, closing and opening up, arcing up more, more, more like a flower. And together and arcing up. Head is an extension of the spine. You don't need to look up to your hand. Closing together, opening up like a flower. And together, breathing out. Good job. Three more times. Breathe in deep. Breathing out together. Two more times. Breathe in deep. Keep it controlled. Last time. Up. And together. Elbow knee together. Round your head. Also down. And come down. Check with how that feel felt. Check with how the right side feels of your body. The left side. And bring your knees a little bit outside of the mat, big toes together, sit back on your heels and reach forward. Bring your arms by your sides, release your head down, shoulders away from the ears. So the shoulders are not close to the ears and they'll just release the arms a little bit more. And from there you want to check in if you can breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. And eat really into the lower belly here. Lower belly to the chest. And if you feel some stretches, try to breathe into these stretches. One more deep breath. Deep as you can. And then come up again. Good. Bring your hands forward on the mat, push into the mounds of the fingers a lot, claw your fingertips, tuck your toes, and shift your hips up into the sky, bend your knees a lot, chest up a little bit, and start. So chest can come up and forward a lot and then we step up and down. So we're coming in between a downward facing dog and the plank pose. And of course, if you have any questions at any point, please feel free to ask in the chat if something is unclear. Just step up and down with your heels. Good. Breathe in deep. Look between the wrists and start walking forward until you are forward and from here bend your knees and stand up with a straight back bring your arms up into the sky get long from the feet to the top of the fingers and release the arms shake your wrist shake the fingers and first thing what are we doing 
when we're standing almost every time, start to jump from out the knees, jump out of the knees, check in with all the muscles that are activated right now, that are there for the balance and for the jumping movement, and then release all the other muscles. So releasing the shoulders, the head, the neck, and of course smile a little bit. And this wakes up the whole body. The whole body gets activated like this. Very underrated exercise to just jump. And you're invited to jump a little bit more if this feels good. If, if there's some pain in your body, feel free to just come out of it. Just stand again. So jump out of the heels maybe. Just heels and knees. Or maybe even lift off the ground with the toes and then try to land again with the toes and the heels. So kind of like almost stomping the ground a little bit. Good. Release the shoulders, release the neck, the head a lot. And then slowly coming back, jumping slower and slower. See where you are. If you have your eyes closed, Shake your wrist, shake your fingers. Hi, uh, hi, Helium. No, I'm not playing a mind street today. Wait, I didn't change the... <laughs> oh no. Hi, Helium. I didn't change the stream info. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're sports. We're sports and fitness. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Thanks, Helium. Have a good day. And we're doing here yoga every day, so... <laughs> Yesterday I played my industry, so, you know, shake your legs. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for coming by. Shake your wrists. And from here, get long from the hips to the shoulders. Extend your arms. And we want to engage the belly and the chest. And we lean to the right. And then to the left. To the right. And to the left, to the right, to the left. And we are doing here every day yoga for 45 minutes. And this is a little exercise that I learned from a good colleague of mine. Whoop. And yeah, you're welcome to join in. And if not, how are you doing? How are you doing today? Thanks for letting me know about the mind of thing. And then leaning to the right and your left leg is completely just lifted a little bit by its own. So it's not, there's no muscles activated right here. Then you can grab around your belly and you will feel that the left side is engaged, the right side is loose. And then change the side, leaning to the left. Releasing the right leg a lot, grab around the belly. Check that the right side is engaged here. When you grab around the belly, your head is in line with the spine. And then lean to the right again. Good. And then lean to the left. And release, come back into the middle, shake your fingers, shake your wrists, shake your shoulders. And now that we have found an integrated body, we want to come out of it again. So release the arms. We engage the knees and the thighs. And our arms are really relaxed, no muscles activated. And we go from the belly button to the left and to the right. Left. And there are two possibilities, either looking forward or either looking left and right, keeping your knees and your thighs engaged a lot. So what we don't want to do is like I over straight with the knees going like left and right like this, but we keep them really engaged, knees and thighs really engaged, going left and right. If you're looking either left and right or looking straight forward. Good. And this is an awesome exercise, especially if you're sitting a lot in front of the computer. Why? Because it gives a lot of release in the lower spine. Because our wrists are giving their a massage. Next to that, 
the whole spine gets activated, the whole spine gets a little bit twisted and a lot of juice, juice is getting free then in the shoulders as well, the shoulders are getting moved and last but not least the wrists are also involved good and from here release the arms release the arms just releasing not stopping and you will feel that there's slight turning going left and right and from here you want to just feel this little impulses going left and right if you can feel this awesome if you don't don't worry about it if you feel them they are the center of your body because we're turning around the center right from this center we want to shift forward to our toes shifting forward shifting to the left and circling like this going to the back additionally if you want to challenge yourself you can try to release your arms so having the leaving the arms not activated so there's no balance there, no active balance, other than kind of like checking how far you can go with the feet, how can, far can you lean, whoop, and if you fall out of it, laugh about it. And then next time you're forward, change the side, go to the right side, go in your rhythm, feels good to you. And next time you come forward, make your way back, bring your feet down, feet to the floor, bring the toes down, feel that the toes carry some weight and we want to give all the weight to the, to the feet of course, but we also want to distribute the weight among the feet first, left foot and right foot have the same amount of weight, then next to that we also want to connect that the toes have some weight, the big toe mount have some weight, the outer feet have some weight, outer edges of the feet have some weight and the heels have some weight. Really connect to that and if you feel like the toes have too less of weight then give the toes some more. Connect, connect with this feeling, all the edges of the feet have some weight and this really helps you to connect and ground yourself and from there you can take actions. You can go ahead into your day and do your projects or whatever you want to do. Good. From there, let's quickly come up to a balance as we are here right now. Let's go for, to the right right now. So shift all the way to the right right now. Connect to your toes, connect to the outer edges of the feet, the heel, the big toe mount. And then slowly bring in the left leg and bring the left leg slowly up either on the lower leg and the knee is pointing to the side or, whoop, <laughs> or bring the leg on the upper leg and engage the thigh, engage the foot, so it's pushing in, this gives you balance, right? So additionally, we want to engage the butt cheeks and the psoas, draw the belly in and up, bring your arms up as soon as you found balance. Good. And additionally, you can give yourself a hug with the arms, so hugging just the, the fingers around, kind of like hugging, but then interlacing the thumbs and bring the hands up into the sky. This is optional. Bring the chin a little bit back. Awesome job. Draw the belly in and up. Engage your thighs a lot. And additionally, optional, you can look up into the sky, see how much balance there is. And then 
close your eyes. See if you can hold it a little bit. And then if you fall out of it, good job. Shake your, shake your legs. How are you doing? And then coming again in a good stance, shifting all the weight again to the feet, connecting with, the, with this, with this um, feeling. This feeling of having, having the weight over the feet. And from there, slowly shifting all the way to the left foot, into the toes, into the big toe mount, into the outer, outer edge of the feet, into the heel. And then bring your leg closer slowly and shift your leg slowly up to the lower leg. Your knees pointing out or even higher to the upper leg. Whoop! So if you have never done it on the lower leg, I encourage you to try it out on the lower leg. And here again, connect to your toes, connect to the foot that is grounded. And then also engage your butt cheeks a little. So us, draw the belly in and up, bring your arms up into the sky. Smile. Chin a little bit back, draw the belly in and up. Good. Get long from the foot to the fingers. And then optionally to challenge you a little bit, hug your arms and bring yourself up. Fingers up again. Chin a little bit back, draw the belly in and up. Good. From here, also optional, look up into the sky. If you can hold that, you can close your eyes. See if you can hold that. If you fall out of it, awesome. Going to your limits, laugh about it, shake, then slowly come out of it if you're still in there. Shake your legs, shake your fingers, good. Um, yeah, let's come to the floor, come to the front of the mat, sit back down, go in your own rhythm, always mindfully do what feels good to you, lay back on your mat and first of all bring your arms over the head. And get longer in the right leg to the right arm, and then left leg to the left arm. So longer right, longer left. And really, really long, really, really long, as long as you can go. Good. And then release that, bring, your, bring one leg up. Grab on below the knee with both arms. Root your right ankle down, root your hips down, extend your leg up and then draw in a little bit. Good. Engage your knee maybe even. Additionally you can draw the toes down, let the foot down, toes up, foot up. Toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up. Toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up. Breathe in deep and as you release maybe draw in a little bit more. Keep your Ankle rooted, hips rooted. Keep your shoulders on the floor if possible. And then release, keep hold the, hold the leg where it is and slowly go down. Whoop. Good, bring the other leg up. Root your ankles down, root your, root your hips down. Hold below the knee, interlace the hands there, and draw in a little bit, and toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down, toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down. Root your ankles down, root your ankle down, root your hips down, good. And then draw in a little bit more. As you're breathing out, breathe in deep. And release, slowly releasing the arms. Hold your leg there as good as you can and then slowly release the leg down. Good. And from here, shake your hips a little bit, shake your legs.
Bring your knees up, coming to a cactus pose, bring your elbows to the sides, fingers pointing up and release the knees to the right and then to the left. Woo. Good. Right and then to the left. The right and the left. right and then to the left good and come back into the middle extend your feet toes facing away from each other arms are lying by your side bring your arms by your sides and we're coming directly into shavasana today to go a little bit longer in shavasana so toes are facing away from each other, arms are lying by your sides, palms are pointing up towards the sky. Close your eyes and just be where you are. We are going for a round of almost four minutes. So just be. And I will get you back to your body in around four minutes. Just be where you are right now.
Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers, your toes. And when you're ready, draw the knees in towards your belly. Shifting yourself to either the left or the right side, coming to lie down on your side body position. On a side body position. From there, release your shoulders, release your neck, your tongue, softening the skin of your face, the whole skin of your body. Softening the chest, the belly, the hips, the legs, the knees. The ankles, the heels, the toes, the feet. Releasing all the tension in the arms, the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. And from there, lie down completely. Give in to the ground completely. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. And breathing out. And again, one more time, breathing in as deep as you can into the belly, into the chest. With your next breath, lift yourself up, come into a final sitting pose, back to a sit, quick sit. Bring your hands in front of the heart together when you're there. Honoring your yoga practice today and seeing that there is so much perfectness inside your yoga practice, your individual yoga practice, honoring where you are, releasing the arms, opening the eyes. And thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I, I, I enjoyed it today. So I hope to see you very soon again. My name is Marcel, I'm not alone here, but I'm joined by Sean. Sean is here for entertainment, energy and motivation and together we're teaching every day from 7 o'clock onwards. Yeah, let's go. And yeah, we hope to see you again very soon and tomorrow's practice will be about trust, right? Trust, yeah. Trust will be the practice topic of tomorrow. I hope to see you there. Other than that, I wish you a wonderful day. Uh, if you have any ideas, questions or suggestions, hit me up via Discord or via directly the Twitch chat. And also, you can subscribe and hit the bell on my YouTube channel if you like this content here. So all that would mean a lot to me. And of course, don't forget to give me a follow. That said, have a wonderful day. And we're going to rate somebody right now. And let's go. Let's do that. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's go rate somebody. And we're going to give uh, Oats <laughs> a little bit more um, viewers. That would be good. And... That said, she's a really nice person. She's really cool. Uh, tell her hello and I wish you a very great day. And I hope to see you very soon again. So with that said, let's go over there and let's tell her uh, a big, big hi, a big lovely hi from this yoga practice. So let's go, let's do this. Let's do this. I quickly need to turn on my, um, 
my channel. Otherwise, I wouldn't see the chat. So let's go there. Send her some love. Bye, you guys. Thanks so much for being here today. Bye-bye.